Hello, you wonderful people. Today, I'm excited to share with you our Strapi Cloud Share feature. It's a feature that allows you to share the project that you're working with others. All they need is a GitHub account and you'll be able to send them an invite and have them join your project on which you could both collaborate. To get started with Strapi Cloud, you could go to our website at strapi.io click this cloud menu button and start your free trial. Now, I already have a couple of projects running, but you could create your very first one and check it out. If you're wondering how to deploy your first Strapi project to cloud, I'm going to link to a video somewhere in here that you could check out. But today, let's take a look at this Strapi Starter local setup. Notice how I now have this share button. This allows us to share projects with others on which we could collaborate together. So I'm going to go ahead and click the share button and I'm going to enter an email of the person to whom I want to send this invite. I'm going to invite myself. Not that I don't have any friends, but this is just much easier for the demo. Coding after 30 at gmail.com. Click the plus button and click send. Great, invitation sent. And as you can see here, my invite is pending. Now I'm gonna log into my Coding After 30 account to look for the invitation email. Once you receive your invitation email, I'm going to go ahead and click Accept Invitation. This is gonna take us to our Strapi login. You do have to have a GitHub account to log in. I'm going to click Login with GitHub. If you already authorized your cloud application, this should be straightforward. If not, you're gonna have one additional step where GitHub is gonna just confirm with you, do you allow Shappy to use and authorize GitHub as authentication method. But once you sign in, you will now see the dashboard of the shared project. So if I go to Strapi Cloud, I only can not see the project that's being shared with me, which is pretty cool. Now, when I click on the project, I'm able to visit the application. I'm able to trigger deploy. If I go into the settings, you could see that there are certain options that I don't have access to. For instance, I cannot delete this account, which makes sense because I'm not an admin user, but you can make changes to your domains or your variables that I'm probably gonna have to hide here because I don't wanna show you my variables that I'm using on my website, but you'll be able to make the changes here. If we go back to deploys, so you have a lot of abilities as a co-owner of the project to be able to log in and work on the backend, push your branch to GitHub, retrigger deploys, and you could go ahead and observe the deployment project and seeing the status, you could check out the runtime logs and so on. So this is pretty awesome. I'm so excited because now you're able to create a Strapi project and then invite others that are helping you build your project or work on your team to work together. But let's say that all of a sudden I decided that, you know what, I don't care for that other guy coding after. 30. I need to remove them from my project. So I could go ahead and do that by click manage and revoke access. When that happens, I am no longer associated with this project. You could see that it tried to look for the project that I was trying to originally log in. And you saw that not found message because I no longer have the access. This is pretty awesome. So I really quickly want to showcase the share feature with you. I think this is amazing because now it allows everybody on your team to be able to collaborate on one single project. I hope you're just as excited about this feature as I am. And if you have any questions or you just wanna stop by and chat, Monday through Friday, 12.30 p.m. CST time, we always have our Strapi open office hours on Discord. So stop on by, say hello, be part of the conversation. Otherwise, we'll see you all next time. Thanks for tuning in and have a great rest of the day.